Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 Modern Day Vatican City. We are looking good. We are looking really, really good. Um, we have basically not a quarter. Oh, yeah, actually, maybe a quarter of Africa. We own Italy and that tiny bit of land right here. And of course, we can't forget our oil reserves right here in Saudi Arabia, I guess. Um, yeah, so we have a war still going on with um, basically two one province miners. The big problem I see is that um, they have around 30 troops, probably not the best ones, but uh, decent at least, but they're all on this island. And let's just say like this, tanks are not the best thing to actually invade with. Um, that reminds me, you should be moved down right here. And let's just switch this one out to your... No, you should not be called Citizens of the Holy See. You should be called Garrison. Garrison, alright. Uh, let's see, you are basically also Garrison. You four tanks. I don't know what you're doing, but um, why is this a big French build up right here? Uh, probably nothing to worry about. They just have so many troops they need to place it somewhere. Anyway, um, you 16 tanks. I think you're... Let's see. I'm building uh, more ports in Latium. Alright. But what I want is at least one port right... Actually, that port will probably be decent. Actually, that one works fine for me. So if I deploy... No thank you there. If I like I wanna finish off this war as quickly as possible before I go on any other nation like Nigeria or something. They might just gang up to a bigger alliance and then just continue on that way. So I wanna finish off. So we basically we have two nations left. We have Monaco and we have Cyprus, right? Yes, Cyprus. So uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna try to do some kind of naval invasions, but naval invasion, but to have, be able to break them, we're gonna need an air force. Uh, let's see, yes, 200 planes right here, and we're probably gonna need something more. I don't think... What can you actually do um, if I deploy you? Uh, good, you can... Oh, yeah, right, these are tackle bombers. Uh, let's just say I want 400, 300 of you all in this area, and, well, you basically have reach, not perfect reach, but at least decent. That should basically be enough to take over this area. Actually, do... Yeah, you have this area. Okay, cool. And this fleet, if I may, uh, the Holy Sea. Please take away from this, that area, but I want you to be in... Come on, move along. Uh, you should be at fire at will, definitely, and... Alright, someone told me that that was why I was not engaging them, because this one was switched off, and uh, yeah, that was completely correct, but um, for some reason I completely forgot about it. So let's see if we can actually do something against their just piles and piles of destroyers. Right now my missile cruisers are just wreaking havoc among them. Um, if we sh Okay, once again engaged in combat, yeah, this is definitely why my, my ships were the one retreating and not their ships. Uh, let's just very quickly see, um, you should actually be defending those ships too. Uh, let's just have convoy escort right here while the tanks are moving. Because I'd rather not lose anyone to destroyers, at least not now. Losing tanks to destroyers and naval transport is very, very bad for business. So let's grab five of you and say from here to Cyprus. Actually, why not? Why not clean up you first? We have, well, basically movement enough for it. So uh, yeah, I want that order. I want five units. That's fine. Alright, even more ships to be destroyed, I guess. Uh, defend those convoys. Good, we didn't lose a tank. I would have been so mad then. Let's see. Um, right, I was going to check this. Missile cruisers, you're doing <laughs> incredibly well. 34 ships, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> um, my destroyers are doing... Well, not that well, but um, actually, three ships. Well done. So, um, am I producing more missile cruisers? Yes, I am. Good. Actually, a lot more. Yeah, that's actually exactly what I want. While you just, well, continue finding, find all of them and we'll see what we can do. Uh, we don't have actually naval superiority in this area. What the hell? Enemy ships present. Okay, um, we definitely have to fix that. Uh, let's remove this area and be on search and destroy. So, yeah, we search and destroy them. Those 
pesky destroyers bothering my bothering me and my navy. Just eradicate them, please. God, they have a lot of ships. This will take a while, but meanwhile, let's just gather up this planning bonus for the invasion. You are, yeah, you're keeping the resistance down right here. That's very nice. Research available. Uh, let's just continue the. Oh, wait. Let's co take this one first. More organization, more attack. Um, well, the last tech, it's usually the best one. Um, it seems like we might have lost a ship right here. Hopefully just convoys, otherwise it might be a bit bad. But right now everyone is doing quite well, so I will just let them continue raiding. I don't really care if I lose my destroyers, I will also get new ones. And the missile cruisers, well, they're doing really well right now. So let's just continue having you slaughter those poor pesky destroyers. Come on. No, no, no ships at all were destroyed that battle. Huh, too bad. All right, how much longer before you can actually do anything? We have 22% naval superiority. That is not enough. So let's pick these ship or these planes just assign in this area. And um, hmm, what happens if I actually assign you to port strike? Because if those boats retreat, well, over here, then they will be destroyed. So they basically need to be on open water all the time. And how is the naval superiority right now? 36%. So I think we basically just have to wait for a couple more ships to actually get out. And I don't really bother that much by it. That gives us more time to build a larger army too. Uh, right now we're at 88,000 men and that's not enough. Let's see, we have uh, 1.7k main battle tanks and 9... Make Hello! <laughs> Let's get some more tanks. Am I right? High five. No one? Okay. Hmm. Two small nations. Who is the one I want to kill after this? Let's double check. Resources. Okay, it's Nigeria. Never mind. Uh, how much do you have? You have, well, a decent size, decent military industry and the civilian industry. Um, a bad amount of troops, well they're probably decent then. I could probably surround you and very quickly bring you down. You are conservative which makes me kind of scared. Let's see, um, isn't France conservative too? Yes! You can create some kind of faction if I declare war upon you. I should probably avoid that or try to execute this war really really quickly if I declare war upon you. Then I basically mean have troops all around this border and probably one or two invasion sources like here and here. Just so I very, can, very quickly can grab all cities at the same time before any weird faction may happen. Alright, let's continue down right here. Um, yeah, sure actually. Let's get that one. Quite a bit of the time but I basically don't have anything super important otherwise to do. Uh, let's fix this military police to the maximum level so I will have well, have a need of very few of them. You are doing still quite fine, right? Continuing destroying those destroyers, very good. Actually, I haven't lost any ship yet. No, cool. You are coming in, well, a short time. Let's see, June in 2015, so just a couple more months. It's kind of too bad that I can't... Uh, Hmm. I need more intel somehow. Can I somehow get more intel? I don't think so. Uh, no one right here. This is just uh, political pa party boosters. Actually, we can grab this one. Trade deal factor. And yeah, these are all just political pack, uh, political power faction or uh, party popularity influencers. Uh, limited exports, yeah, we should still be at limited export. We could go up to one more. But that's... Let's see how much do we actually get. We can just try it out. 26,000, that's not a lot extra. What happens if we go all the way to scraping the barrel? That's 2.17 million men. Uh, let's go back and just relax for a while. Why do we now have more men? Why in hell do we have more men? It should update now with the monthly tick. Come on. Alright. Um, 
Uh, I'm actually not gonna complain about it, but um... <laughs> uh, alright, alright, we have more men. Perfect, that was basically what I needed. Uh, okay, let's see if we can fix these tanks a tiny bit now. Basically, I want to go up a bit more mechanized, just to increase the soft attack, just general feel of it. We'll have some more organization, some more health. Uh, we go up to 28, which is, well, not the best, but it's decent. Armor goes down a tiny bit, piercing goes down a tiny bit, no worries, a tiny bit more influence. Yeah, this would be, just be a general better one. And we have enough mechanized for it, good, everything is fine, let's save that. All of you will be instant filled, cool. Yeah, good. Good, and I've, let's deploy it right here. I have a feeling that we will be declaring war on France sooner than I want to, so let's have our troops decide right there. Or, if we don't de declare war on France, I guess we can always take Switzerland. Though I don't know if I really want a larger front against France. I would probably want it as small as possible when I think about it. Anyway, uh, more destroyers destroyed, and uh, let's see, can we do this X plan now? Cool, we can. Or, couldn't we? We should. Why are you not moving, tanks? Come on. Okay, I'll halt. I'll tell you right here. Assigned. Now you need more days. I'm gonna take half of you. Assigned right here. This plan should be okay. We have superiority. We have, let's see how much superiority do we have right here. 100%, 100%. Okay, let's go. This is weird sometimes. Okay, let's just grab two units from here, straight right here. Yes, cool. Uh, we should have enough transports and everything. Uh, yes, oh yeah, we definitely have enough transports. Uh, let's just grab seven of you and just make a plan for Cyprus too, because why not? Um, more support, let's see. Actually, that reminds me. Do I have everything assigned right here? Yes, we definitely do. God damn it. I was thinking maybe that could reduce the naval penalty a tiny bit. Uh, we have everything researched. No, we do not. Actually, we, yes, we have. Let's see. Uh, we have transport stuff. Actually, naval capacity plus 20 more. Sure. Let's go for it. So basically, I just want to finish off all the wars I'm currently doing and build up a large army for this session. So we can, well, maybe start messing around with the bigger nations. Because right now, unite the union. Holy shit. You are uniting the union right now. And that's 150 days until, well, they are united. Well, that could maybe even be... No, that would be only bad. Never mind. That's only, only bad. And I can't really stop them. So when we eventually get, go to war with NATO, we will face a superpower. Well, if everyone agrees, which I'm pretty sure they will, since these are usually stuff that are scripted to AI auto accept or something. Okay, you are now going. Good. That's so weird. That's very weird that it didn't go before. Uh, right. Uh, Air Force, select all. Please go right here if you can reach it. Well, some of you could at least. Um, I should probably have picked my navy to support you with more... Yeah, this is not gonna work. I think. No, this is definitely not gonna work. Okay, let's just not do that kind of weird invasion. Let's just focus on Cyprus then. Because um, we need something better. Swiss Guard, hello. It's time to... It's time for me to actually make you to a proper division. A proper good one that will actually help me quite a lot. Uh, let's see, probably something right here and maybe even some support artillery just to boost that soft attack a bit more. Uh, we basically have everything except rocket artillery. Because um, maybe we should add just a tiny bit more right here too. Like this. Yeah, you will have some more penalties right here then, but I think it evens out, or not even out, but... Okay, we need much more experience, right? Holy shit, we need a lot more experience if we want to do something like that. So I think we basically just have to go through France then. <laughs> but we still have the problem with Cyprus. How in hell should I bring you down? Ah, let's think about it. Uh, let's see, France, your navy is massive. So I would have to avoid that too. 
I have a big problem right here. I'm kind of stuck in between. No, let's not be cowards anymore. Let's just let's just do this. All right, who should I declare war upon? Nigeria. Yeah, let's do Nigeria. 16 divisions. And I probably want some of you too. With some, let's say I want 8 of you. Actually, I have no clue how many I deployed. Eight. Oh no, seven. So let's do another one. Eight. I will assign you all to this division and go down right here. Thank you. Tw uh, 24 units right here. Very cool. And then um, we probably need a new division. Let's just give you a random commander. Uh, you begin at level two. Sure. Actually, why do I have you assigned over here now? It was to defend against random naval invasions from here, but that's no longer necessary. So let's. Why not just assign it right here? That might be able to hold them off a tiny bit if they ever go to war. Just because conservative, conservative, or if you just join this faction, which is Algerian Union, then I would be very much happy with that. That I'm completely fine with. Oh well, it would be better if you don't join a faction at all, but well, I can't really complain if you do. Uh, supply is decent, so no worries there. Come on, oh really, you're going around to land here and... Whatever, whatever, it probably goes faster. Uh, what are we missing right now? Steel from Australia and steel from Nigeria. Oh right, we're justifying against you. <laughs> oh why? Right. that means that I will actually get some new factories, cool. Or get some more steel. Uh, let's see who I'm missing basically. Um, trade influence with France. Let's see if we can improve that relationship to actually get us more. We did it with Russia I think. Yeah, so why not do it with France too? Uh, let's see, you are basically all done. Industry, almost done right here. Air Force, we have, we do not have the latest model of airplanes. Let's fix that, Generation 5 multi-role. Um, these planes, let's see, do we have a good airbase actually? Yes, we do, or at least a decent one. Let's deploy it right here, land the assigned right here, very good. Why have you lost so much? Okay, let's deploy the yeah, set limit. Are this just a billion accidents every second? Yeah, I think so. Uh, let's see. No increased stability, even more. I don't want to lose this amazing stability. Uh, military police level 3. Let's go for level 4. And uh, we didn't even start justifying against them. Okay, it's gonna take 60 more days. Sorry about that, I completely forgot. <laughs> Let's see, modify government. We don't have anything left. No. No. Too bad. Okay. Let's see. United Union. This would probably be the most exciting thing that happens this episode. To see, do they, will they manage United Union or will it be a complete fiasco and, well, no United Union. Let's see. Oh, actually, faction map mode. That won't actually show. But um, we should basically see, look for this modifier and that is a lot of nations that have it basically well all nations in Europe yeah just double checking if some kind of event gave it to anyone else no basically the entire European Union basically only basically only <laughs> oh not Norway uh, so well most most of the historical nations I, was, I thought you would actually invite more than just historical ones by going... Oh, you haven't done this European uh, European cooperation or these ones. I think this one starts to invite a bit more rare ones. But um, yeah, seems like you're going straight for complete control, you greedy bastard. Germany just want to have control over everyone. And I guess we will be the liberator of all them. Everyone being forced into a union with Germany. And we're gonna be the one liberating them one by one with tank force and god with at our side. Uh, we have not enough production actually to build from all of these, but it should be kind of fine to build with these. Uh, it's still motor <laughs> mechanized that we're now missing actually. So let's just delete some of these. Okay, that should probably be fine. 500, yeah, we will get back to that quite quickly. Especially since we have, I think, two full production lines right now. 
focusing on mechanized. Actually not full, so let's fix that. And you are also missing rubber. Holy shit, I'm really off today. Okay, now everything is done. Imported 200, we have a surplus. Import 400, we still need more. God, can't we just convert some of that oil to more <laughs> steel or rubber? Um, actually, how much resource did you have? Um, a decent amount of everything, basically. So that's really good, except, well, chromium, which you have free of. Maybe I should just build a bunch more. Uh, yeah, is that one thing I actually need most of? We import 200 of it, so it's basically steel, but steel exists at a lot of places. Chromium, I think, is harder to get by. So yeah, I want to focus a lot of, more on chromium and get that basically everywhere in my homeland. Just, well, my homeland, I guess, Italian, past land. And how many more days? Another 15 days right here. And how many days before Unite the Union? Another 50 days. So we'll see. We'll see. Alright, um, we have 8 divisions right here. So at least we have one at each and every province. And currently their divisions are looking... Well, they're not the best. But I think they could still break through right here. If they went for all-in push, definitely with all their air force and navy, yeah, that could end quite bad for me. Uh, you are continuously taking losses right here, I guess. Uh, let's double check that. Yeah, 27 from accidents. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. So let's not have you actually sign this anything until we actually declare the war itself. And uh, do we have something that could actually reduce? Oh, that's one of the bug ones. We can't actually reassign anymore. All right, that's bad. Okay, but we have the war to justify. Let's declare this war. That you can see the ghost war. Let's charge here and now let you do stuff. Double check you're not doing this anymore. Cool, port strike is disabled. And I. S all right, all right. Uh, you're not called in just yet, at least. You are not. You do not wish to join this war. 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 Come on. Come on, just bring down this more quickly before actually France prepares. Come on. You can do this. France, stay out of this war. <laughs> stay out of this war. Uh, yeah, you please take over that city. <laughs> Come on, I was kidding about... France maybe joining and I just wanted to make it more exciting and I actually didn't expect it to happen Then I definitely w wouldn't have declared this war really 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 I oh god thank you thank you thank you thank you no we're not gonna change government we're gonna just annex everything thank you okay that was not supposed to happen I was just gonna make this exciting and you say oh I was lucky right here really France being that kind of bastard. <laughs> um, Alright. Uh, let's see what happens now with the European Union. Um, wait, wait. Nuclear reactor? Holy shit, they went for nukes. Nigeria just said, I want nukes everywhere. <laughs> they have built basically one in every single state. Holy crap, we're getting nukes now. And we're getting them quite quickly. <laughs> Alright, um, Nigeria going for nukes. That was exciting and I had no idea about it. <laughs> uh, let's see, we have some new factories now assigned. And it seems like now with our increased... Well, increased... Increased... Um, increased size of division with more mechanized. It seems like we need more of them. So let's assign one additional fully lined pledged on mechanized and the rest of you uh, are not going to do anything because that's all I have uh, steel United States no you still don't want me China all right you're fine with it cool then we actually have all the steel we possibly need very nice you uh, 20 u 24 tanks what should you do what should we do now no thank you, no thank you, no, yes, but no, 
these two could be pretty good reactionary and social democrat but you have a lot of troops still I could completely surround you and break you hopefully very quickly so let's do this uh, my air force air force air force air force right here uh, stop doing it stop dying from accidents uh, let's see where we were right here actually 400 yeah that's fine uh, let's just fix this actually Two, 200 out of 200 very cool you're gonna be all assigned right here and you can no don't do anything just yet at least and uh, we're gonna justify this war that's gonna take another 60 days all right so very very soon let's see if well Europe is united another 12 days another 11 days available research convoy convoy uh, inter Dictation. Yeah, uh, submarine offensive, artillery. Well, let's finish anti-tank guns at least. Uh, we don't like to use them in anything. Uh, we need 65 experience. So, well, more fighting, more experience. So we just have to continue warring, I guess, against these small nations because now we really need to just build up our power, especially since Europe might be united. Let's see what happens. I'm expecting lag now. I'm expecting loads of lag. Okay. Okay, now. Now, at the next change. Are we seeing lag? Yes, we're seeing lag. We're seeing lots of lag. Holy shit. Alright. The European Union is being created. Oh god, look at this. This is horrible. Oh shit. <laughs> Is that it? I think so. So the European Union. <laughs> um, Alright. So um, we're supposed to challenge you. Is that so? Is that so? Uh, Russia joined the Algerian Union. Really? Russia joined the Algerian Union and became big enough so we can actually... So Cyprus lost the leadership, which meant <laughs> that we that peace screen appeared because every single other person is occupied. Okay, that's a bit weird, but uh, well, I won't actually complain, especially now when Europe is here. Okay, we're not at war with anyone right now. We have peace in our lands. We ha should have basically all possible supply. Actually, we still need a billion steel. Uh, let's cancel. Actually, let's cancel everything. And let's see. What do we have? We need a billion steel. And let's see. You actually said Germany. Really? Germany just took everything under themselves? It seems like it. And that's export. Oh, right here. 72 factories. We could trade with... NATO. The only one that is almost challenging them are United States, but right now, holy shit. That's a lot of divisions, a lot of Air Force. Uh, let's say that um, these 10 divisions are not, well, especially frightening anymore. <laughs> oh god. Okay, how should we do this? How can we actually bring them down? Oh, Luxembourg, <laughs> you're still independent and you're in NATO. All right, all right, okay, let's think about this reasonably. Hey, United Kingdom, have you already Brexit? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> two years early. All right, two years early on the day. No, 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 one day too late. All right, um, well, two years, like today, they put what, whatever, politics, who cares? So, how should we do this? You are one big superpower right now. Wait, you were... I think you were guaranteeing a bunch of nations right here. But since you disappeared right now, you are not actually guaranteeing anyone. Interesting. Very interesting. Actually, you are still guaranteed by United Kingdom, but... Bosnia, Herzegovina is no longer... Okay, that's gonna take 1 and 24 days. Oh, right, because we just find right here. 
But all right. If we compare stats, they're quite a lot bigger than me. And probably the manpower reserves ends in millions upon millions. So um, that might be a tiny bit difficult to actually break. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And I look forward to your well suggestions about how I can deal with this. Because I'll probably need some well tips and tricks, help, theories about how I might be able to break them. And uh, yeah, I will definitely look upon, look upon them until next episode. Like and subscribe and all that nice stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye and bye.